Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. A Burton man is dead after a crash in Flint Township. It happened at the intersection of Miller Road and Ballinger Highway. Flint Township police say Lee Walker was driving north on Ballinger when he crossed the center line and was hit by a driver from Grand Blank. Walker died at a hospital. The other driver is OK. The crash investigation kept Ballinger Highway closed for hours. If you witnessed the crash, Flint Township police want to hear from you. Michigan State Police Troopers honoring fallen trooper Joel Pop by ticketing drivers. Operation Guardian Angel was conducted Saturday around Metro Detroit. It focused on offenses that caused the most crashes there, including failing to move over for emergency vehicles. The operation was carried out in honor of Pop, who was hit and killed by a car nearly two weeks ago as he was conducting a traffic stop along I-75 in Birch Run. A local school district bolstering efforts to keep your kids safe in Saginaw County. Hemlock Public School District, in collaboration with Richland Township, will hire a school resource officer. The superintendent says the officer will be on campus every day while class is in session. They will also hold educational sessions on topics such as drug and alcohol awareness, lead emergency drill, they will lead emergency drills, and much more. The school resource officer will begin later this month. Now here's Chris with your forecast. We expect areas of fog again tonight with temperatures dropping below the freezing mark. We could be seeing areas of freezing fog again tomorrow morning. Currently no advisories as of 630. We expect it to be a little bit more patchy tonight, but still it is a situation we will monitor through the evening and also into the overnight. Your first alert pinpoint Doppler radar looks dry from any showers at the moment. There has been a little mist here and there throughout the day, but certainly nothing extreme. We do expect chances for rain to eventually return going into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. A few of those chances will go into Sunday and Monday as well, but at least for Thursday and Friday, that looks like mostly just rain. Now we do expect clouds to gradually expand off to the west as we head through tonight, and then we'll likely start under cloudy skies tomorrow, but with winds turning more southerly through the day, we should break back into sun for the afternoon. Temperatures likely around the 40s tomorrow afternoon. Areas a little bit further to the east could still be stuck in the 30s long term into the middle and second half of February actually looks like we may see a pattern change which could lead to a cooler finish to the month so winter may not be done with us just yet your seven day forecast shows temperatures on Thursday and Friday are back in the 50s we could break records especially Friday and then it's cooling back down into early next week with a chance for both rain and snow Sunday and Monday Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.